Welcome to Ellie Goldsmith's Inspired Flow. Yes, we have some good news, and good news is always appreciated. Um, in the midst of things, you know, within the good news, there's always like a larger picture, and you start to think, well, wow, you know, so I haven't yet solved the overall challenge of life and success and supporting a growing family and all that kind of stuff. But I'm on the path, I'm on the road, and that is good news, that you feel like somewhat some clarity. Like, so I do have a new full-time job that's been offered to me and pretty much we've agreed upon it um, starting in July. So that will keep me busy and I do try to commit to my jobs like in a focused way from say two or three till around 10, 11, I'll be pretty much only on that. I like to keep my consultancy as an option in the morning. I even have some people offering some stuff to do in the morning as well. But, you know, that we can discuss together and work it out, whoever's interested in the consulting side of stuff. And there's also later at night and maybe a little break in between during that time slot. But basically, it's pretty much blocked out for like a while and while I develop this project. And my hope is that the project will come together with success and then I'll be able to take um, a group to North America, to Canada, and to the East Coast, possibly the West Coast, depending on the interest. And you know, this this is an opportunity to once again to have the merit to visit America and to be there and connect with all my friends and family and people over there. Uh, especially, you know, somehow I've seen like with the universal flow that. When you're on your, once you're on your path, you, you see how... I mean, we're always on the path, but sometimes it seems a bit more hidden or unknown. Um, I have had, like, say, a six-month stretch since uh, Hanukkah time where I've just been, like, doing more inner work and one-and-off consultancy jobs and it's not been, like, a clear picture in terms of my main use of time. So I've had a schedule, you know, very important morning schedule, wake up at a decent time, help the kids get out of bed, get them to school, go swimming, you know, pray, exercise, meditate, listen to podcasts, get your mind into a growth orientated focus, a, a mindset of gratitude, you know, I've been listening to a lot of, of successful people over the years like Tony Robbins and then now we've got Gedalia Fenster coming on Wednesday night and the opportunity to touch base with someone who is success orientated and has that sort of a vote of that uh, morning focus we have the opportunity in, within that kind of time frame and mindset to really start the day in the right way. And, and that leads into well, whatever your job is, your full-time focus in terms of you know, making money and, and doing your mission in the world. So for me, this last six months, it was then more like focus on family, focus on finding my next mission. And it's funny, it looks like it's bringing me back to what I did last year and hopefully it'll be on a whole new level. Um, but the other interesting thing which is developing and this shows like how the path continues, obviously I'm still booking for artists, music artists and you know, Nissan Black, thank God, has a gig coming up in Deal, New Jersey um, in the summertime for, to help uh, pantry packers. They, they're really a great organization, be a good show and the, the whole point of it is just to help uh, fund a charity um, that help keep people from being hungry and you know there's no bigger in a way a mitzvah than just to feed people and you know I remember growing up in the 80s with the famous statement feed the world and you know that's what Live Aid like that's what I grew up with my family were running that and raised millions and it's an amazing thing to like feed the world or to feed a country and this is what this organization does so I'm happy to have booked for something like worthwhile and meaningful and with people that are meaningful. And I uh, have a new act, I'm excited to say. Um, you know, there's always new musicians around. You know, I've got Levy Cohen and Yitzhak Mayer, who I am, and all these other guys I have, and I'll put out, hopefully at some point, a clarified, updated you know, list of artists that I'm booking for. Um, but then there's uh, the new one, which is called Oza. Now, very interesting with Oza. He did do a song collaboration with Nissim, but what I like about his energy outside is that it's, it's like a very young, fresh, vibey energy. Like I was listening to some of his songs, I got a vibe of Tracy Chapman going on. I mean, who doesn't love Tracy Chapman? Chapman 
and you know then you got the Michael Jackson energy with some of his more funkier stuff and and then you got the very Israeli sounding music as well which is good because we need eclectic music we need to go on a journey when we listen to musicians and you know I'm looking forward to see what his performance like um, but I, from what I'm getting from the energy that he brought into my home and the times I've seen him that there is a good energy there and it's going to be a success so it's exciting in a way to have a new artist and that will combine you know obviously with what my main job will be and I hope to even maybe bring him on tour somehow or another let's see how it all flows and there's still the unity inspires projects which is thank god hasn't been compromised at all in all the journeying like I feel like it's such a universal need and this the more I listen to the awakening of consciousness so you have a guy like say Russell Brand he was on the Richard Roll podcast and you know he's been recently interviewed by Tony Robbins and everyone's talking about him right now because he's gone through his recovery and his spiritual awakening and he looks like some guru you know it's funny from where he was you know effing away and now he's like uh, inspiring people um, to growth and change and inner, inner work and focus on marriage and commitment and relationships and you know obviously he's very open as well at the same time to what you know all the other things going on in the world but it's still amazing to see that someone like him has found his flow and uh, in a more focused way not just Hollywood style and it is, it's you know it's the healthier lifestyle it sounds like he's heading on and thanks to, once again to principles like 12 steps and uh, other universal principles that's what can bring out that unity focus in people that they can start really finding their flow and finding that path that actually makes more sense and it starts to reveal what they're supposed to be doing so to come back to me personally like so you've got this larger challenge and I thank God didn't have to go through the recovery process but I have worked with people I've been in rehab uh, as a counsellor and I've had the merit to work closely with people in rehab world and recovery world and learn their you know their their outlook and their mindset and sit in their meetings and it's amazing I mean I even shared some of my things and it, it came out in some of the meetings that you know I'm not so far off like people imagine like there's like these two worlds the recovery world and everyone else but a lot of the people like like I heard on another podcast um, are that in between world where they're like you know they're not in recovery but they could definitely use all these principles and when you go deeper into yourself start to bring out some of your past demons and you know goblins or whatever you want to call them those past challenges you've had you start to realize that you've had some moments of you know borderline addictions and and borderline uh, rage um, or moments of despair and pain and depression I mean who hasn't in this generation gone through those moments of emptiness and challenges and you know like like I said before at the beginning like you have this larger picture you're trying to conquer like you know well how can I become financially independent or how can I become more spiritually inspired you know in a in a real way where I'm holding you know and all the different texts of the sages and I remember everything and I had to quote everything and I clear and I'm an inspiration and a teacher and a well-known teacher and a well-known you know consultant how can I not be at that point so I'm not but the point is I'm on the way and and I'm in my own way in my own journey and not to measure anyone else to anyone else everyone's got their own individual path and their own individual mission and just doing this podcast for me just reminds me of like all the different you know successful points of return and flow and that can give encouragement to everybody around us everyone around us is you know doing the best they can in their way like I'm thinking of my children how much struggle they've gone through in their short life already you know they should all live to 120 but they've all you know started in this world and honestly you know as much as we've tried as parents to give them you know a stable home and we've moved nine times you know so for my daughter my oldest daughter she's moved nine times you know that's that's a big deal and they've also moved schools about say three times each at least and you know and then they're going into the next stages of schooling and teenagehood and all the different challenges I mean you know I was a teenager but I had one home and I never moved and I pretty much went through the system 
very like succinct. So I didn't have to change school in midterm or anything like that. Um, so I had it easy in that respect. So I have to like just put in perspective the struggle and what my kids are up against. And not only that, with the like the crazy way society's become and all the sirens and crazy stuff going on all the time around us living in Israel and you know the tension in the air and, and the polarization of the world. You know, you have to give space to everybody. And my one of my rabbis always, you know, my holy rabbi, my Rebbe himself, always tells me just to have have more, you know, patience and calm down and be more calming to my children and calming to my family, which is like a bit not so my natural personality and something I have to work on is finding that place of joy and that place of serenity and like it says in the serenity prayer, you know, like that's a very powerful prayer that a person should say and know what you can change and what you can't and just being real and being focused on the higher power that guides us all and that flow is something which is that higher power, that is the inspired flow that the 12 steps talk about and uh, you know in, in my personal belief is you know the, the unity is the actus of, of creation and funny enough if you realize that so much of that nothingness that exists around us around the atoms of creation is and that's the majority of what creation is is because that godly energy that godly force that spirituality that oneness is really all that's encompassing everything and that awakening of consciousness is happening so I'm happy to be on that path. I'm happy to, thank God, have a bit more clarity now in terms of what my day is about and where I'm heading towards. And everyone's welcome to hit me up and share their unity path. And looking forward to, you know, the summer months and to, to bring um, a, a build and get ready for a new year in the right way, with the right focus and do it with success, with, uh, you know, all the blessings. And I can't wait to hear your unified view and inspired projects. Have a wonderful, beautiful rest of the day.